Hello everyone and welcome to the Nerds Archive. Today is the day we unbox the 12th Dr. Sonic screwdriver, the uh, 232. Ready? We've got a special visitor here with us today. This is my girlfriend Hannah. Well, not, not that's the dog. But my girlfriend Hannah, say hello. Hello. Welcome to YouTube. Thank you. It's cosy in the videos, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's nice and cosy. Yeah. So, come on then, what you got in your hand? Is that the toy? Yeah, this is the the toy version. Okay, and so this is uh, your favourite Doctor's son. Look at the bloody cat. Yeah, it's my favourite Doctor. So why do you like the Twelfth Doctor? Because he's he's just it's his sarcasm and he's quite witty, um, but also his stories are they were just really interesting. Like I never I was never a Doctor Who fan. Um, and you got the glasses. <laughs> and then I watched, um, I watched Peter Capaldi's, and then I was hooked. Um, yeah. So are you looking forward to this unboxing? Cause yes. Because you, you know the way how Peter Capaldi was given uh, the prop, the free left. So this is basically something that Peter Capaldi has. A little bit of a, a bit of a Peter. Just a bit. <laughs> so all I've done is I've taken the address off and I've cut into this here, but we've not actually opened the box. I think this is still taped down. Yeah. Um, not fat. Which way does it open? It opens this way, so you can just open it that way. I'll set the toy. Put the toy down. What about the toy? Can I use my key? Yeah, just don't break the sonic. <laughs> no, just to get in the box. I'm also cautious because you're watching me. Yeah, if, this, if you break this, we're done. Let's have a look then. Oh, I want to look with my own eyes, but also hold the iPad up as well. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Do not let the dog eat any of them. <laughs> right, I'm going to you're a bit stuck now. And you can edit all this bit out. Yeah. Already I can see the, the tin coming through. You know, I think hands down this is the best uh, box that a Sonic comes in. So he's gonna tear that open. Literally. Just get in there, but do not drop the tin. I can. It's like Christmas. Just, just, yeah. But it's very I delicate. I feel like you watch it. Do you know what as well? It's actually got hotter. The sun's come out now, so we're sweated more. Like heart surgery. <laughs> There's a lot of bubble wrap. Well, there has to be. Just, can you pull it out? I can see it. Pull it out. Just making sure they can still see the, the iPad. No, it's too tight. Let me just. Um... You okay for me to rip the bubble wrap? <laughs> yeah, this is straight from rubber toe recipe. Two hours later. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yeah, just leave it there. Uh, that is the best. Oh wow. There's the underneath. <laughs> you have to open it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just showing everybody. Ready? Go on. Steady? Go on. Oh, the certificate. Boom. It's laminated. I need I'm gonna have to get some frames for all my certificates. Oh, does it show up in the back? You know, I never get tired as well of seeing Nick's signature. <laughs> never get tired. That's awesome. And this is just the instructions here, the basic do's and don'ts and why you chose to do what you did. Oh, it's actually different in the other videos. It's all uh, highlighted differently here. So this must be the Deliberately keeping the paper there for suspense. Yeah, to take it off. You've got a bit more suspense. You, mean, oh. you, you haven't seen these videos, have you? No. <laughs> so you have to pull it from here, this okay? This is new for me, isn't this it? This is it now. You're going to see it now. Oh, my God. Just do it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So just hold the toy one more time. Then put the toy down. <laughs> Are 
you go, trust you have, me. You, you help me get this, so. Any particular place? Just pick it up. Do not drop it for crying out loud. <laughs> That's the prop. What do you reckon? Does it do this? Yep, go for it. That's louder than I thought. It does have lights, it's just really light out here. Has it got a nice weight to it then? Yeah, I love the, the colour. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. And I like the stand. I was just looking at the stand. Yeah, take it out. Do you want to hold that while I take yeah. it out? I, I won't complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is it's all different from the other ones, but then again, we've only seen a couple of videos. Yours is number 232 of 500. That's so cool. I love the box. And that's how it will sit. Like when it was first when it's it first appeared. At the minute, but. How awesome is that though? It feels so cool. So what do you reckon then? Because this is what Pete has. I could be Peter's best friend now. <laughs> Hi Peter. Just in case. Just, just in case you're watching. Just in case. Big fan. Oh, I can see the colours now. That's, that's the green setting. Blue. Yeah, you can see it's just because it's so light out here. You have to uh, double press it, but it's a bit stiff at the minute. It does work, I've just done it. Yeah. But because it's uh, it's still new and a bit stiff. Watch the arc, give it a go just so we can see again. So double up. That is where it goes quiet. Oh. And that'll be it spinning. And of course you haven't, like with the toy, so hold that. So with the toy, you have to... But with this one, you can just... <coughs> it'll carry on. It's a beautiful blue as well, isn't it? It's a nicer blue than the toy, I Definitely. Think. That is so cool. Awesome. Well, thanks then, Han. Do you like it then? You're very welcome. I feel honoured that I was the um, first one to touch it. Yeah, well, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Cheers. <clears throat> so what you saw there was me and my girlfriend this morning opening up this awesome prop and seeing it with our own eyes for the first time. And <laughs> it was just uh, one hell of an experience. The 12th Doctor is both mine and my girlfriend's favourite Doctor, uh, with Tom Baker being right up there with Peter Capaldi for me. But the 12th Doctor is the Doctor that both me and my girlfriend share as Peter Capaldi. If you ever watch this one day, you are an absolute legend in the role. So, yeah, that was all nice. That was all well and good. But, you know, there's one person who I really wanted to see react to seeing this Sonic. And that has got to be my dad, a.k.a. Vlad the Inhaler. You can check out his channel, and this is what he had to say when seeing the Sonic. So that's the toy one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is the actual real thing. That's the real deal. Oh, my God. Yeah. You can see straight away. I mean, that has a look of plastic about it. And this looks like it's actually something from some kind of science... Um, engineering thing it's nice isn't it yeah you can see i mean i love the 12th one but there's been a lot of effort put into that one i don't know i just thought that it kind of like something on a, off a, a bike um but that's probably because i'm more used to bikes and things like that 
you can turn it on as well, there's batteries in it. You don't need to hold it like you do with a toy. Mm hmm. That's a bit brighter than this one, it's a bit dull. But... See, he was going to drill because there's nowhere. There's no louder, this is quieter. There's nowhere for this sound to escape on the prop because the actual prop is just the lights. Right. And they edit the sound in later. I mean, uh -huh. he's put the sound in there and he was going to yeah. drill holes into the back of it. Yeah, I understand that. But obviously, people were against it. Okay. That's something I'm going to mention as well how it's raised. Because it actually gives it like a proper torch effect that the toy doesn't have. Oh, yeah. you, could, you can put it down as well and it's blurred. But this doesn't have the double thing. No, it does. It's rotating. Oh, right, okay. It's just a bit awkward because it's metal. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of that? How it spins? Yeah, it's good, but it, like again, it's quiet. But like you say, it wasn't. It wasn't meant to. This is obviously a toy made. One of the big things with toys is sound effects. Well, actually, I mean, it is like a, it's a replica, but made from the toy market, if you know what I mean. So it's not exactly a, it could. In some people's eyes, it's a toy. In some people's eyes, it's a replica. Uh, where this is the, the replica is actually the the physical look and feel of it is the main thing, not the sound effect. I wish we had more of this Sonic as well. He also later on, you can see in other things he uh, nice when he's got the, the green pulse first try. <laughs> but in uh, later models, he added a red setting to. Okay. I would have liked to have seen a red setting in there. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah. It makes you think that it's going to turn because of that. As if that's going to turn for some reason, like to set something else, but obviously it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And that makes you think that you're going to press that and that's going to come out. But you know, obviously it doesn't. You know why that's the, well, what the no. fans have sort of said, because uh, when Jenna Coleman, uh, as Clara Oswald said, next time Mike Connor doesn't roll, they're there to stop oh, it from rolling. Right. That, that's, okay. that's what the fans say, and whether that was what they chose to do or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finished? I still think Charlie Whittaker's is the best. <laughs> Charlie Whittaker's is the only one that makes you think she needs to wipe her ass after using it. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> that's, that's made it. <laughs>